on an all-new Dr. Phil. Two battling exes. Oh, Title child. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. My dad gets physical with me. And their 16-year-old daughter. You're sitting over here patting her hand like I won the popularity contest. I wasn't patting. Caught in the middle. Do you have a boyfriend that stays over? He recently got arrested. He had no place to stay. If you think he wasn't going in that room at night, one of us is an idiot. Today's going to be a changing day in your life. You've never had anybody working harder to bring you to the threshold of change than right now. Thank you, thank you. Well, yesterday I sat down with Jason, his mother Patricia, and his ex-wife Tina. Now, Tina claimed that he was spying on her and their daughter by placing cameras all around their house. Now, Jason claims he had no choice since Tina is allowing their 16-year-old to just run completely wild. Their daughter claims that her dad is abusive and makes her feel like she's living in a fishbowl because of all these cameras. Take a look. My ex-husband, Jason, is harassing me and our 16-year-old daughter big time. You follow, you stalk, and people are done with your this is, and so am this I. This is sad, Tina. Because I live in his mom's house, Jason actually installed surveillance cameras. He's claiming that they're up because he needs to keep an eye on what our daughter's doing. It's insane. So this is the problem. On all fairness, 80-20. You say you're having to plug in because she's not doing her job as a mother. Correct. I found out Tina was allowing an 18-year-old boy to sleep in my daughter's room unsupervised. As our daughter got older, she started seeking a lot of male attention. She also started smoking marijuana. My ex-husband blames me for everything that our daughter is doing. So but you defend your parenting? For the most part. Okay. I mean, I know Got I it. have errors. You slapped your daughter? Yes. Why would you slap your daughter? There was a struggle to get the phone. Mom couldn't get the phone. She invited me in to take the phone from her. What he says is you push as much as you can to try to get compliance mm -hmm. and when you can't then you call in the enforcer and then you complain when he enforces this is the way he does it so you get into a physical confrontation over a phone when you say were you yeah. raised by wolves what no. are you doing well, here what am i supposed to do turn it off she has the power to turn it off i don't have the account well god forbid you would communicate with each other i see you both running your own agenda and your daughter is paying the price for it exactly so would you say that i should take the cameras down and just leave them alone or not try to get help well let's set up a paper tiger and then tear it down do you think i'm an idiot no, not at all. There's a video that we made with you guys, and this happens in front of your daughter. Why is it that you can't own the hurt you've given her? You haven't been around. She's been around for every single thing in my life. Where have you been? Why is it that you can't own the hurt you've given her? You haven't been around. That's what I experience any time I get involved with them. They both barrage me. I'm speechless. <laughs> This is child abuse. I get it. You apparently don't. No, I do. Because what you should say after that is, oh my God. You know, there's another adult in this scenario, Grandma Patricia. What have you seen? I've seen two people who cannot communicate and it's taken a toll on my granddaughter. She's acting out. I have my difficulties with her mother, with Tina, and nothing works. I can't believe you think he's conducting himself in a constructive way well, in this situation. Not based on what you see on, on those clips. Well, let's meet the granddaughter. Here's what she had to say to our team. My relationship with my mom is pretty good right now. As for my dad, I started realizing he was physically abusive towards me. He's choked me, he's slapped me, he's punched me, he's pushed me down to the floor, even in front of the police. I don't want to see him ever because he's not a dad, he's not a father, and he doesn't deserve that title. Okay, I'm glad you're here, actually. I'm glad uh, I'm here, too. I'm sorry that you need to be, but yeah. I I'm glad you're here. You've been listening to everything yes, so sir. far, because I told him I wanted you to hear uh, what was happening out here, and know straight up, I, I got a real problem with what's happening in this home. Me too. Uh, what do you have to say about what you've heard so far? I agree with everything you're saying. I couldn't agree more and I've been trying to tell this to my mom 
too. Mm -hmm. I tell her these things. And especially about the she doesn't learn type of thing when it comes to my dad, bring my dad into the picture. Mm -hmm. Because every time, it's abusive. Mm -hmm. He gets physical with me. And I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not going to see him. I'm not going to deal with it anymore. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do with your life? Um, do you have plans? I mean, yeah. I know you're young. I'm not, like, I'm not <laughs> yeah. asking what you want to do when you're 42 and a half. I'm <laughs> just saying, what's I, your general direction? I want to go to law school. Mm -hmm. Become a lawyer, do what I can, support my mom, help my mom be on her feet more because mm -hmm. she deserves a lot more than she's been given. Mm -hmm. And why law? I mean, I'm pretty confrontational and I think I can defend somebody pretty good if yeah, I really need so to. I'd say you ought to have arguing down to a, yeah. <laughs> ought to be able to argue a case, yeah. no question about it. Yeah. How are you doing in school? I'm good. I get 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. One of the things that the cameras pointed out that I'm sure you object to having, showing you coming and going 2.45 in the morning, 12, 30, 2. Uh, I'm not going to deny that that's happened, obviously. I mean, yeah. it's on recording. Yeah. You're 16. What are you doing out at that time of night? I mean, a lot of the time I'm with my friends. We're out hanging out, doing whatever. It's not anything... Horrendous. I mean, the hours, yeah, they're a little weird, but besides that, it's not. Is this okay with your mother? My mom? I mean, it's more of like, all right, I'm going out. I'm already kind of out type of thing. I'm not going to deny. They've said it. I, I will admit it. I walk out of the house and I'll tell her, yeah, like I'm going out. So you don't respect the hierarchy in the home. You just do what you want to do. Not always. Well, <laughs> I didn't say always. You do what you want to do when you want to do it. If you want to go out, you go. If she tells me not to, then not gonna. But a lot of the time she'll say it's okay. She trusts me. So, well, okay. I've got some questions about that. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> do you have a boyfriend that stays over some at your house? He used to. He actually recently got arrested. Eight armed robberies. Eight. During the time he was living there. He wasn't living there. What kind of a mother allows that? And later, wow. you're staying in the room with Nana, mm -hmm. and she's staying down the hall with this guy, yeah. and they're posting videos right about door. drugs. Tomorrow. From cheerleader to ringleader. She stole cash from her mother's purse to pay two would-be killers. Her parents. I got a phone call about the murder for hire, and it was my daughter that had paid for it. Break their silence. You can't just give a kid a pill and expect her to be balanced. You can't excuse this or explain it away. She tried to have you murdered. A Dr. Phil exclusive. Then on Friday, she's afraid of her fiancé. You. Fire. His mean texts. You an ugly b Why is this okay with you? Because I love him. New Dr. Phil, Friday. Last year, Tina put my daughter in a teen treatment center without my knowledge, and I flipped out. It's the hardest decision I ever had to make. Nobody wants to send their child away. Tina put me on a no-contact list, and I forwarded them my divorce decree and advised them that I was a custodial parent. I went every week to see her. Tina only went up there once. He took her out of the treatment center, even though he knew it was the best thing for her to stay there. Months later, Jason said that she needs to go back to treatment. <laughs> I was like, wow, you're a piece of work. At this point, you two don't have much of a relationship. No. no. She refuses to talk to me. I'll talk to you. I'm talking to you right now. I, I've offered therapy uh, between uh -huh. us, and she no, refuses that, too. Well, and I've, I've looked at some of the text messages between the two of you. Well, tell me what I'm supposed to do then. My mom has no part in this. Jason, she raised you, so yes. Then you say, so did you. Jason, oh, no, I definitely did not raise you. Daughter, okay, so you're admitting that you're an uninvolved father who's not there for his child. Great to know. Um, so you say, I'm at work. If you want to talk, call me later. Correct. I didn't want to have You that. had enough time to text me. Well, I didn't want to have a text war with her or, as you say, therapy session with her over text. I would rather have a one-on-one -on -one 
face-to-face -face talk with her. Okay. And I'm willing. Okay, so where's your I'm willing to the house? today to go to therapy with her at any time. I would like to um, create that relationship again. You um, ruined it. Well, here's another one. Jason, you say you could give two blanks about anything but yourself. You're just like your mother. User. Only call when you need something. People are only good in your life when they are doing something for you. You respond. If that's what you need to think to help make what you do okay, that's on you. To which you respond. When they say you hurt them, you turn and run. Mm -hmm. Just like Tina. Daughter, you taught me to detach, not mom. Jason, I don't need anything, not from you. Don't call when you need something or it is coming time for something for you. You understand, you're trashing each other here. You, you guys, you, do, you argue in front of her and then you badmouth each other to your daughter. Yep. And I'm kind of like right in the middle of it for my whole life because they're both guilty of it. Do you have a boyfriend that stays over some at your house? He used to. He actually recently got arrested. Got arrested for what? Gas station robberies. Yes. I was not aware of that, and I am not, not okay eight, with that. Eight armed robberies. Eight. During the time he was living there in October and November. He wasn't living there. That's he when the cameras went there. up. He even gave the... your address. He wasn't living there. What kind of a mother That's why allows the cameras that? Went what kind of a mother, 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 mother promotes their child abusing their kid? And she causes didn't, an eviction. She didn't stop. She, she didn't stop paying her. She doesn't pay the thing since August. Not Maybe if you didn't cut her off. Maybe I didn't, you didn't cut, cut her off. Her off no, I did not cut her off. She stopped and why paying rent. Why are you bringing me into it, though? Why are you bringing me into it, though? I'm not bringing you into it. Why are you bringing me into it? I'm not bringing you. You're the one that brought yourself into it. I didn't bring into anything. Yes, you absolutely did. You when, I had the confrontation, me, like, this. when I had the confrontation with your mother, you are the one that came out to the corner. Okay, go try to fight your mom again. I don't want to hear There you it. go. Because you tried, because of you calling you, because me. What? You called you me. Called Excuse me. me. Slut. Oh, did I? Excuse me. No, that's not what I called you. That's Only because I'm there. Me. Wow. I like to lie. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't care who was paying what to who. Yeah. You... The guy you had staying with you at your house, whatever the timeline was, is now in, the, in prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you were aware he was staying there? He was staying, yeah. I had him in the living room. He had no place to stay. And, and how old was he? Uh, at that time, he was 18. 15. And you were? 15. Uh, and, uh, don't don't do that, that, please. Please. Did, You're childish. <laughs> Did that seem like, is there anything about that that bothers you? I was uncomfortable. You? I was very uncomfortable. Then there got to a certain point. I said, you need to leave. You have to find a place. And you did. There was something posted since you got here. Are okay. you serious? You didn't know that that happened, huh? I'm not in the same room. And mom's okay with all of it. Uh, all right. So. Shut up. And later, you're sitting over here holding hands with your daughter like I won the popularity contest. She's involved with a guy doing drugs when she's coming to get help at Dr. Phil and you're over here right. patting her hand. The hell are you thinking, oh, I woman? Patting. When the going gets tough. What? Don't, don't yell at me like that. that. You don't have an anger problem. Ah! Well, that's a relief. When life throws you a curve. He lost their entire million dollar retirement fund, mostly on women. Women he met online, but never in person. Sophie is mute. She was in an auto accident. April and I are engaged. This lady is Jane. Her and her daughter are now being held in captivity. It's kind of like a soap opera, really. One show. My son, Oren, thinks he's a cyborg from the year 2050. Has it all. You say you don't want to tie yourself up with a job because if you have a job, you can't spread your message. Correct. Our job is spreading the message. I have a job and spread my message. I mean, it works for me. Unpredictable stories. Not only is she going to inherit her mother's overcrowded and messy mansion. We're going up to the champagne room. If you can ride, why walk? But it comes with a price. An older sister who lives in the basement. It's not my responsibility to take care of Lori. Lori has been bullied in school. But she's 58. 
unbelievable outcomes. Hundreds of couples targeted by an imposter in a fake adoption scandal. Gabby told us that she was 15, she was pregnant with twin girls. She had hurt so many families. It's now time to finally meet Gabby. You led them to believe that you had a baby. I'm done. It's Dr. Phil February. Now, there was something posted since you got here uh, that I thought was interesting. Let's take a look at this. Um, this is you, How did I get and that? who's this young man? My friend. Okay. Are you serious? What do we have here? You didn't know that that happened, huh? I'm not in the same room. Oh, you, so they're in their own room? Is that what's happening? Yes, because there's only two beds to reveal. So why and would I was you be sharing, in the same room with her? I was sharing the same room with Nana. Oh. Me and, and I, him are solely friends. You can calm down now. And okay, but... No, but, but that... I know it doesn't seem okay. I know it doesn't seem okay. It's not okay. It's, A lot of it I doesn't know. seem okay. Okay, but now, I'm, I'm sorry. Explain this to me again. Know. Can we run that again? That's crazy. Uh, and you're showing off this, that's your hand, right? Yeah. And you're showing off that dope and... Yeah. <laughs> it's a joke. Wow. Yeah. Look. And you're, you're wow. staying in the room with Nana mm -hmm. and she's staying down the hall with this guy yeah. and they're posting videos about door. drugs. Meanwhile, the whole entire time, I said to her, I'm like, hope you're not going to do anything stupid. I know, you know, you got to be careful what you're doing. Don't be posting anything. Don't be doing anything illegal. No, 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 no. My fault trusting. My fault you think? believing. Yes, exactly. Now, exactly. Really, seriously, what do you, what's your thinking here? What's the... I mean, I don't even know what to think. Or what to say, honestly, because it's not like I can justify something like that. I mean, yeah, I posted it. I know I posted it. And well, let's talk about you doing it, and then we'll talk about you posting it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. What, what? I mean, with the amount of stress I've really been under, I know it's not a good way to cope with it, but sometimes I need help with it. And, and how old's your buddy there? He's 19. You're 16 and he's 19. Yeah. And mom's okay with all of it. Uh, right. So. Shut up. <laughs> yes. Very respectful. And there you go. You say things you don't know. Very You're going respectful. by your own opinion. No, you haven't told it's her. It's obvious. Okay. She shouldn't be and you've talking done so that much way. better. I can see. Oh, I've said it. She should I've know, but she shouldn't be talking okay, that way. Hold on. So much better, hold on. You two can so bicker later. I don't yeah. have time right. for it. You can yeah. bicker later. I understand. You do understand that that's criminal behavior. Yes, sir. And that you've documented that criminal behavior. Yeah. And that LAPD can roll up on you right now, and that's prima facie evidence, future lawyer, of criminal behavior. Prima facie evidence for which there is no defense. I know. For you and your buddy. I know. That's, okay, so we talked about you doing it. Now, Tell me why you published the prima facie evidence. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? It because obviously... you didn't think we had it. You think that your okay. friends are your friends. Okay, can I talk and to you I've now? And I've tried to say that. Are you done? That. Are you done? <clears throat> yeah, I'm done. Thank you. Um, Sorry. So, I don't know. I lost my train of thought, but... <sighs> yeah, I, I can't justify it. You know I work with LAPD, right? Yeah, I do. Well, I believe that there are key events that have compromised Jason and Tina's parenting. I'm going to talk about those when we come back. You shouldn't do that with your daughter. You should be offended by that. That's not okay. And you shouldn't accept that behavior. Absolutely. Tomorrow on an all-new Dr. Phil. She stole cash from her mother's purse to pay would-be killers. From cheerleader to ringleader. You can't excuse this. She tried to have you murdered. A Dr. Phil exclusive tomorrow. Well, Tina and Jason's daughter says she stopped talking to her dad because he put his hands on her last time they had a disagreement. This whole thing is dysfunctional, and... Um, 
you are caught in the middle of this, but at some point, you've got to make a decision about realizing when you choose the behavior, you choose the consequences. And you have to know if, if your parents listen to me at all, they're going to let those consequences start landing. You, you need to start making better choices. Yes. And your mother needs to start making better choices. Your father needs to start making better choices. You've all made serious mistakes here. And, you know, there's no theory under which you should ever put your hands on a woman in, in anger, in combat, in anything, whether she calls you in or whether she doesn't. That's not okay. You shouldn't do that with your daughter, with your ex-wife, with anybody. That's just not okay. You should be offended by that. I'm not saying that you shouldn't find your way to forgive him. He's your father. But that's not okay. And you shouldn't accept that behavior. Absolutely. Uh, but you also shouldn't be defiant. And you say, go out whenever you want to and disrespect your mother and her authority or your father and his authority. Now, I'm going to excuse you so I can talk to these adults. Do you have anything you want to ask me before I do? No, sir. Okay, I'll excuse you then, and we'll have an adult conversation here. Thank you very much, and thank you for uh, sharing. <laughs> what you're doing now um, is really beyond ridiculous. And, you know, I, I look at, I, I talked about key events, and I look at your view on parenting here. And you had a tough time growing up. Yeah. And, you know, you were violated when you were young. Yep. At the age of six. There were just a lot of things that, that went on. You've been married before and it, it didn't work out. This hasn't worked out. Uh, you've been to counseling on and off, but never really made a commitment to it. And that's not true. I, that's not true. And it's still a work in progress, you know. Uh, anger management is is a work in progress, and and I agree, you know. I'm not not saying that I'm. How long has it been since you've been, been in, in therapy? Ongoing. Uh, it's been about a year. Yeah, that's my point. Okay. You you haven't had a smooth run through your life either, and you know there's been chaos and ab abuse in your life, and uh, you're kind of living what you've learned mm -hmm. and uh, I'm sorry for that but there's a point you know we say in Texas that you got to rise above your raisin and you guys need to understand something I I've been doing this for 45 years and if you don't change what you're doing right now your daughter is going to wind up in jail mm -hmm. or she's going to wind up in a violent relationship yeah. with some violent felon and she's going to have her life ruined mm -hmm. because that's what she's learned. And if you two don't stop what you're doing, then you are sealing her fate. And I'm going to tell you what you need to do in a very specific way when we come back. You guys are so interested in besting the other. And, oh God, unless she's got you in a Dixie cup, then you ought to be the one that steps up and does what you need to do. Tomorrow, from cheerleader to ringleader. She sold cash from her mother's purse to pay two would-be killers. Her parents. I got a phone call about the murder prior, and it was my daughter that had paid for it. Break their silence. You can't just give a kid a pill and expect her to be balanced. You can't excuse this or explain it away. She tried to have you murdered. A Dr. Phil exclusive. Then on Friday, she's afraid of her fiance. you. His mean texts. You an ugly b Why is this okay with you? Because I love him. New Dr. Phil, Friday. Well, while we're in commercial break, uh, Jasmine at Under the J-Rose commented on my last true crime podcast. 
When is the next episode going to be available? I'm on the edge of my seat with this case. Well, Jasmine, thank you. It actually drops tomorrow. If you like true crime, you should really check out this newest series. It's called Twisted Love, Bringing a Murderer to Justice. And I am going face to face with a known killer. I'm interviewing a man whose wife, Michelle, is missing. And her friends and family are gravely concerned. The delicate dance between Mark Castellano and I teeters on the brink. He is actually close to confessing Michelle's murder to me on camera. But at any moment, he could retreat into the darkness of all of his lying and deceiving and misdirection. If he does that, we're going to never know what really happens, and we're going to never find her. Find out if Mark slips up or if he shuts down. So episode 1 and 2 are available now on Apple Podcast and Stitcher. And episode three is out tomorrow. All right, let's get back to today's topic. I know. Every take, ready for take. Jason, you wrote in, and let me start with you. Do you think you're a right fighter? I don't. I'm not sure. I understand what you mean. Right fighter. That you want to be right. Whatever the cost, you want, to, you want to be right. You want to win the argument. You want to be right. You want to have the last word. I think that's the way I used to behave. I don't think that I behave that way now. I think that I'm beyond disgusted with the way um, this has been going at the house. Well, grade your paper. How do you think you're doing as a parent? Right now, I, there's no relationship. So I'm not able to... I, I was never even able to parent prior. She would always pull the rug out from under me. Anything that I did, my daughter would call her up and then she would negate whatever I did. So if my daughter misbehaved at my house or she uh, talked to me in a disrespectful way or refused to give me the phone and I would call her up and say, can you shut the phone off? Okay. Uh, there was never any support. So I was not ever so you're, able to So you're parent. a victim? Well, I've never been able to parent. So you're a victim. I wouldn't say I'm a victim. I would say I'm not. The ability to parent has been removed. You're, you're a victim of her. I say that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I wish I had that much power. Well, when you come and rescue your daughter, when you, you come to my house to tell you that okay, no, stop, stop, she's stop, unhappy. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Stop. No. Listen. I'm going to ask you to leave if 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 you if you get in this conversation again. Okay. Okay. Please just be here and support what I'm doing. Okay. okay. You've been very helpful so far, I'm trying. and I'd like for you to stay. Uh, but I'm going to I'm I'm going to put some things out here, and there's a difference between when he calls CPS and when I call CPS. Mm -hmm. And you people need to hear me. Okay. Because. I cannot, I'm a, I'm a mandated reporter, and I cannot allow this child to go back into this situation. So I'm just telling you, it's not a matter of choice with right. me. I, I'm a mandated reporter. Right. I, I see this kind of abuse going on. Mm -hmm. I either have to change it or report it. Got it. And you guys are so interested in besting the other. No. And, oh, God. You're I, right. I've, I've kind of given no, up. No, you're right. On, Seriously, on... you're right. You're right. I don't know what I'm doing. You're right. I'm just making this up as I go along. <laughs> this situation, listen to me. I hear you. Listen to me. You haven't met anybody working harder for you and your family than you're looking at right now, my friend. This situation needs a hero, and it ought to be you. It should be you. The father in a family should be a leader, a protector, a provider. I mean, you should be all of these things. And you shouldn't be standing around saying, she's not allowing me to do it. Unless she's got your in a Dixie cup, then you ought to be the one that steps up and does what you need to do. You can do what you need to do, Jason. 
And I'm going to help you to do that okay. if you'll just listen to me. I'm all ears. What the hell are you thinking? Have a boy living with your 16-year-old daughter. And if you think he wasn't going in that room at night, one of us is an idiot. Do you need Dr. Phil's help? Text Phil to 88500 and share your story for a chance to appear on the show. Standard message and data rates may apply. Season 18 is underway. All we need is you. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and want to watch a live taping, visit DrPhil.com and click Tickets. Tickets are free and I hope to see you soon. You're sitting over here holding hands with your daughter like I, I, I won the popularity contest. She's, she's involved with a guy doing drugs at when she's coming to get help at Dr. Phil and you're over here right. patting her hand. What the hell are you thinking, oh, I wasn't woman? I patting. No, she grabbed my hand for hold. <laughs> sure, if she didn't want to hold my hand, I would have let go. I, was, I wasn't patting. Because I don't think what, she's, uh, what she said was right. If you don't learn to parent your daughter differently, mm -hmm. she's going to wind up in prison. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be watching reruns of this show thinking, why in the hell did I didn't hear what was being said? Your daughter sat here and said, when I want to go out, I go. Mm. So, Mom, we got the tail wagging the dog. As loud as you may yell, as much as you think you may have control or volume or whatever, She's doing what she wants to do when she wants to do it, and your judgment is not good. Mm -hmm. You got an armed robber. Now, quickly, tell me he wasn't guilty of that when he stayed there. Quickly, I, point I it can't. out. Point it out. I can't say that because I don't know. It's bad judgment mm -hmm. to have a boy living with your 16 year old daughter. And if you think he wasn't going in that room at night, one of us is an idiot. Oh, that, yeah, that would be me. That would be me. Most definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. That's one thing. I don't have a problem owning my stuff. I, I want to introduce a friend of mine. This is Shane Gallagher. And Shane is the executive director of Wingate Wilderness Therapy. And Wingate Wilderness Therapy is in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, wilderness programs in the country. And it's one of the only one that helps young adults with or without substance abuse issues. And Wingate staff are really pioneers in the wilderness therapy field. They've been doing this for decades. And they're really experienced in helping clients who are angry and defiant and become really getting them open to positive change because they take them out of chaotic, trauma-filled situations where they're hanging with the wrong people, doing drugs, headed towards a train wreck, which is what's going on with your daughter. Mm -hmm. Shane, you, you can help her, right? We really can uh, help her. The, the chaos and the trauma, frankly, that's gone on in this whole context, she just needs a break from, and we can definitely give her that break. And if the two of you can be on the same page on that and trust us in our process, I think we can just really be helpful to your family as a whole. Too. And here's, listen, I, I could say this to her, and she, of course, will resist it, but I, I could say this to her, and I have absolutely no problem in doing that. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because this needs to be the first step in her seeing her parents as a unit sit down with her and say, this is gonna happen, this needs to happen. And while you're doing that, we're going to be working at least as hard on getting our ducks in a row. Remember when you said to me that you wouldn't send me away? See what Dr. Phil has no. to say. And if you wanna give me more vitamin issues, you wanna send me away? 
Today's show is almost over, but we are hard at work on tomorrow's show and beyond. And we are always looking for great guests. If you have a problem you think only I can solve, I want to hear from you. Make sure to log on to Dr. Phil and click Be On The Show or text Phil to 88500. Want to know what's coming up on Dr. Phil? Visit our website and subscribe to our email newsletter. You'll get weekly updates, life strategies, and exclusive video that you won't find anywhere else. Plus, on drphil.com, you can see sneak previews of upcoming shows. Log on today. She needs a reset mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And if she does that and you two just say, well, that's a nice break and do nothing in the interim, mm. then you'll be cheating her. You've got to do some things. Look, you're a smart woman. And like I said, you guys have done some right things because she's a really very nice young woman. But I highly recommend that you two sit down and talk and go to her and say, we've been offered a amazing opportunity here and we have collectively decided that you should do this and while you're doing that we're going to do the things we're going to do and I'm going to provide help for you guys to get this thing put together while she's gone in a way that she can come home to something constructive. Do you support this? Absolutely. Do you support this? Definitely. And then I'm going to get help to you two which you deserve and you need. Fair enough? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll do this. okay. I want to thank all my guests today and a special thanks to Shane Gallagher and Wingate Wilderness Therapy. Uh, they really do a great job. <clears throat> and also a special thanks to Mike Montreal from Safe Interventions because they are the transporters that will make certain that she gets there safely and soundly and that there are no problems. For more information about today's show, you can log on to drphil.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, I have a great respect for law enforcement, as everyone knows. Law enforcement and all first responders, they work so that we could enjoy our everyday lives. I decided to show my appreciation recently to the Anaheim Fire Department on Thanksgiving, and I reposted this on Instagram. Uh, they were... Uh, I, was in Anaheim and they allowed me to uh, land a helicopter on their uh, place where they train their people and set fires to their towers and all that kind of stuff. And I got to visit with every one of them. Great bunch of guys down there. Uh, thanks. We'll see you next time. People always ask me what I love most about Robin. Well, there's not enough time to say, I mean, right? I definitely love her smile. And my mother always told me, if you want her to fall in love with you, make her laugh. <laughs> oh, she was so sweet. She really Precious, was, yeah. Yes. We miss her. But every time she laughs, I fall in love all over again. Oh, right? well, that's so sweet. Now, I'm kind of conflicted because I feel like I should laugh right now for you, but yeah. what you just said kind of makes me want to cry. No, well, you can do either <laughs> one. But speaking oh. of love, come on, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, yes. and you have something special that you created, so tell us about yes, it. Yes, I sure do. In fact, let me get it. Oh, I have this precious little travel bag I call my romantic getaway kit. It's a sweetheart of a skincare gift. So Sounds notice I said Valentine's Day, right? I'm right. your sweetheart. That's right. right. So, so what's in the bag? So in it, I have my foaming Joy Facial Cleanser and Polish to Perfection Exfoliating Scrub, very important, and my Hydrated Skin Equals Youth Moisturizer. Then I have my Poor Tiny Me Cream that makes your skin appear smoother. And I love all of those. And all of Robin's products in her luxury skincare collection have a patented dynamic yes. infusion technology that delivers the ingredients in the skin quicker and deeper. She's got my tennis buddies hooked on them as well. I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs>
We actually, <laughs> they actually put these things yes. on all the time. Tell us about the facial mask. Well, I created this facial mask just for Valentine's Day. And it's, so it's brand new. It gives your skin a cool burst of hydration. And I named it, she is one cool chick. I really love her. And you'll notice instead of love, I put a red heart. And just for Valentine's Day, if you wanna perk up your skin and your spirits any time of day, I included hard work equals a bonus, my Rose Hydrating Toning Mist. And my Ultra Rich Hold Me Tight Cream gives you the softest hands ever. Well, how about a little bling for Valentine's Day, right? You got yes. some in there that's yes. shiny, right? Oh, for sure. Because I love sparkle, I created a brand new Swarovski crystal bow necklace. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Yes. All right, and there's only one place that you can get Robin's Romantic Getaway Kit, and that's at robinmcgrawrevelation.com. And the first 900 people to order will receive this bow necklace as a bonus. Yes. That's the first 900 people. And let me tell you, that's quick. Uh, and audience, Robin is treating you today because you're going home with all the products in her romantic getaway kit. Okay? So there you go. How about that? Okay. Now, if you want to join us here in the audience, the tickets are free. So just go to drphil.com for all the details. We'll see you next time. RobinMcGrawRevelation.com. Remember when you said to me that you wouldn't send me away? What I was saying is, see what Dr. Phil has no, to say. No, you said you wouldn't. If you want to give me more abandoned mini shoes, then send me here. But if you want me to be okay and happy, take me home. Well, if you guys want to say goodbye and she's able to do so, then let's do that. Why would you do this? Have a hug. No. no. What Laura and I do is help take care of you from this point to the program. We have temporary custody. Do you have any questions to start with? Why? My abandonment yeah. issues are through the roof. Yes, this is gonna make it work. Because of all of this dysfunction in your family, you're in a place where you are. And now you're gonna take responsibility and you're gonna build a foundation under yourself. You're gonna do real well. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I've always been naive, call it